Hi everyone, welcome back to our Procreate for Beginners series. In this lesson, we're diving into some really exciting tools in Procreate, brushes, texture and color. By the end of today's video, you'll know how to experiment with different brushes, customize them to fit your style and add beautiful colors and gradients to your artwork. So grab your iPad and let's get started. Let's begin by exploring Procreate's wide variety of brushes. Tap on the brush tool icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Here you'll find an extensive library of brush options. You'll see categories like sketching, inking, painting and textures. Each category has multiple brush styles designed for different effects. As you can see, there are so many brushes to choose from. If you're not sure where to start, I recommend the pencil and inking brushes for outlines and the watercolor brush under the painting section for soft textures. Funnily enough, the gouache brush appears to be more like a watercolor brush than the watercolor brush does in the standard default Procreate brush set. Okay, so let's start by trying out our brushes. Pick, pick any brush that interests you. I'm going to go for the stucco and make a few strokes on the canvas. Notice how each brush leaves a different texture and thickness. Brushes like the airbrush are great for smooth transitions. While charcoal and even the gouache brush add a rougher and textured look. Take a few minutes to play around and see which brushes you like and which resonate with you the most. You might be surprised at how the right brush can really change the look and feel of your drawing. Now let's get into customizing brushes to create a look that's uniquely yours. To customize a brush, you're going to select the brush that you would like to start with. I'm going to start with the airbrush and I'm going to go for the medium hard airbrush. To customize it, you're going to select it, then tap it again to open the brush studio. Here you can adjust many settings like stroke path, shape, grain and other things like wet mix rendering, dynamics, etc. For example, if you want a softer look, Try adjusting the opacity slider in the dynamics tab. Or if you want your brush to behave more like a pencil, lower the flow and size settings. Make small adjustments and test the brush by making strokes on this canvas. Remember, you can always reset your brush if you wanted to go back to the original settings. Let's put it all together by drawing a simple flower with shading and texture. Start with a basic outline. Choose a sketch brush like the HB or the Procreate pencil and draw a simple flower with simple petals and a circle for the center. You can use the quick shape technique on Procreate by drawing your shape and then touching the canvas with another finger in order for your shape to snap into a lovely perfect geometric shape like these petals on the flower. Next, you're going to create a new layer and then select your airbrush. Now you're going to trace the petals of your flower. Once you've finished tracing, you can now color drop your chosen color into the petals. Now create a new layer. Select the yellow and you're going to draw a circle for the center of the flower. Color drop yellow into the circle and then you're going to create a new layer above your petal layer. Change the blending mode to multiply. Now select a brush with a bit of texture like the Oberon brush and you're going to use this to start darkening parts of the petals and creating shadows. Remember that you're using the same original color that you used for your petals, but because your blending mode has been changed to multiply, this color now becomes darker as you layer it over the first layer. 
If you want to make sure that you're coloring within the lines, you can once again select the layer in the Layers panel and choose Clipping Mask. This makes sure that anything that you color is confined to the shape beneath it. For the highlights on the flower petals, you're going to follow the same process by creating a new layer, changing the blending mode to Screen, and using the same color, you're going to fill in highlighted areas. For the center of the circle, we're going to follow the same process as before. We're going to create a new layer, change the blending mode, and then paint on our original color. For this flower, I've decided I'm going to add some line work just to give it a bit of structure and detail. And so I'm going to choose one of my pencil sketching brushes, a darker red, and I'm going to just loosely add some line and detail to each petal. You can also add some white highlights. Here I'm adding slight line work and some dots to the petals and also to the center of the flower. And finally, some dark spots to the center of the flower to create interest. And if you want to add a background to your piece, you can choose a softer coral color, select your watercolor brush in the brush library, and on a new layer, you're going to lightly paint the background with that watercolor brush. Once you've finished the layer or finished coloring in that layer, you can drag that layer beneath the flower layer. And there you have it, a colorful textured flower using brushes, textures and blending modes in Procreate. Try experimenting with these tools to add depth and character to your artwork. If you enjoyed this lesson, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out the resources in the description below. Stay tuned for my next lesson where I'll dive even deeper into Procreate's powerful tools. See you next time and happy creating!